Hopefully it's Hassan and Diddy. Okay. My baby. So, I just started with... I signed in and everything. But then, before I, okay, before I, okay, okay, I woke up today, and then I cried, because my mom was saying, um, because how my dad and my sister and my brother treat my mom, but I guess sometimes it's kind of she does the same to us. But like, I always, always love my mom, and I will never, ever, if anyone try to talk about my mom, like, somehow, like, call her names or, like, say something about her, I would just stop crying, because, like, I love my mom, and I would do anything for my mom. That's why I don't actually have money anymore, so, yeah. Okay, so, getting to why I cried at work. So, the whole day, I didn't even care if I care if I finish anything but like every day when I first started I'm gonna say I said in my head okay today I'm gonna try to finish every single project so okay I was gonna just watch TV but like I just wanna do like a little rant um cause I had not a good day today um I think when I first started um I mean, when I start work my dad made steak potatoes sh shrimp and corn today's video I am gonna be doing a uh, move thing I'm just eating what my dad made cause like there's a juice on it. The reasons why you should work at Walmart. It's actually a good first job. Um, if you like working, get that job. If you like walking and moving around, be a customer experience. If you just like like just standing around, just be like up at the till on cash. Cause just find a job who suits you. Like maybe in Walmart, just find a job suits you in the the whole store. Yeah, cause we need more people on our team. Cause like yeah, I cannot do everything again. But I'm not gonna actually quit because I love working at Walmart. Walmart Walmart helped me out the whole time, but. Like when I first started at Walmart, it helped me out a lot because if you guys know me, I'm very, very shy and I don't talk I don't talk to anyone and Walmart kind of helped me out because um, during Walmart, like when you work in Walmart, you have to talk because you have to talk to the customers, you have to tell where this item, where that item is and yeah. And I got trained to do everything. I might be the manager someday, so yeah. For people who like can boss me around, who make me do their work, I would do the same if I, I if I'm your manager. Okay, I'm going to talk to one more person who I think I don't know why. Okay, so he's a department manager, and I don't think he does actually like the work. And he's like a manager. So, okay, first of all, sometimes this guy creeps me out what they say to me, I'm like, hey, there's my favorite girl, or like, so I'm like, what would you say to me? Please don't say that to me. I am, I feel uncomfortable when you say that to me. Like, how's he, how he says it? Like, I just feel creeped out, like, I don't know. I don't like that. I just like, after he, he says that to me, I just like walk away because I don't want to say anything, anything like that. I would, uh, I don't say, oh, can you please don't say that or anything. I just like, no, I'm not, I'm not having this. I walk away. And, um, okay, so, I think many of them, pe <laughs> many people on my team does this too. Um, there's a thing called search check. You have to go around and, um, pick up things, they pick up the stuff on the floor what the customers drop on the ground or drops off the shelf and put it back where it's supposed to go but I don't think they do that and I don't think my top my top button manager does that cause okay okay I, I was about to do the search but they then I kinda gone too so 
I did. I want to tell first that I was gonna do the subject. I logged in and then it was already done. And I asked the department manager, "Did you do the subject?" And he said yes. And like then I went around again, and like the same things where I was gonna pick the stuff up was still laying on the ground. Like what? Like he does that a lot. Like he doesn't even do the subject. I. I the, after that, I just went around pick everything up. And then like, okay, so check stamp. Right. Right. Just just find a team who actually helps you helps out. Cause you don't wanna be on a team and be the only person who does something right. Okay. So here's another thing I wanna talk about. For some reason they don't even let uh because the greeters have to sit in the chairs, some of the greeters, we have to be the greeters too. And they let like one older lady to sit in, sit down in the chair because she can actually can actually walk. She can't walk, but she has a cane and stuff. So, she, <coughs> so she has a cane and stuff, so like she, to help her walk. So she, they like her sit in the chair. But like this other lady, who's very nice, I guess she has like kind of like weak knees or something. She, they don't let her sit in, the, sit in the chair either. Like, I think she's the same age as her, and like they don't let her sit in the chair. Like, I think she told me she tried to sit in the chair for when she's up there for the beer, and no, the man just come, just come by, and just takes the chair from her, and then walk away. Like, how rude are you? Like, come on, like young people are like us, like, are good. They they can stand, but she. If she wants to sit, and if she looks, she's like, she, she looks the same age as her, or like, a little younger, but like, I think, because she has weak knees, she has like, kind of walk around more, not like sit in one spot, then her knees will kick out, and like, she should be allowed to sit down, like, what's wrong with these managers, like, let her sit freaking down. <coughs> so don't get me wrong I love every single manager and every single person who I work with but like the managers have to stop giving us like I've been losing my manager like my, my department, department manager and um assistant manager was talking on the phone lab they were talking about um things done with these people like if you don't want to help me out i don't want to help you guys out because like come on like actually do your job and like help out because i cannot do anything for you guys Okay, here's another time I've got left by myself. So, if you guys know peop the um, people up at the front who walk, walk on the toes, so I guess they scheduled me the whole day up on the tail, and when when the store was closing, everyone, including the CSM, left me there to clean the tail. I had two toes clean, then I could leave. Like, come on, just really. At least the CSM should st stay because she, he, she's the manager, and like people who like work for you, like on the till, I should leave first, then you, because like she counts the toes and makes sure that everything. It's clean. Yeah, cause like, yeah, she said, oh yeah, testing. I'm um, just like clean those two toes, and then you can go. And like, where's your help?
<sighs> I think this is it. I'm gonna. I'm done talking about Walmart and yeah. So this is this video is not meant to like kind of talk bad about Walmart because you should work in Walmart, but like. Don't work with people who don't like the job. Who you they make you do all their work for them. Find a person who actually does and who actually does like working and yeah. So I hope you like the video. Hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell button down below. Comment which which should my next video be. Bye!